Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks, problem of the day and today's problem is insert and search in a try and it is a medium level problem. So I was not able to upload the video yesterday for Geeks for Geeks as well as Lead Code. The reason was I was actually traveling and uh, I couldn't upload the video. So anyways, let us discuss today's problem and uh, I uploaded yesterday's code for both of the platforms on my github so in case uh, like again i'm saying this whenever something like this happens i'm not able to upload the video you can check it out on github it is uh, anyways uploaded by the end of the day right so for this particular question it says that we have been given two functions insert and search and we have to basically implement them for a try data structure now this particular question gives you a good idea of what a try is and how can you actually use this right now, in this particular thing, you can clearly see that they, we have been given a list of words. So this is generally called dictionary when we call when we study about tries, and the, we have been given a key. We have to match this particular key among these list of words, right? So if it is present in this particular list, then we then it is automatically going to return one, and otherwise it is going to turn zero, right? So basically, we just have to turn true and false, and rest everything will be taken care of. So a try has multiple applications. First, uh, one of them is word matching, which uh, you have just seen, which is matching uh, exact words. The other one can also be prefix matching, right? And uh, why try is interesting because the complexity of building try is, let's say, O of n. So O of n is basically the summation of length of all the words, all the words in the dictionary. So let's say we have this particular thing. This will be inserted in O of n, that is the size of this particular character, uh, word and similarly this will be inserted in O of n and so on so that the whole complexity is the size of these length of words. Similarly, the searching complexity is all, also the same. It is dependent on the size of the key that we want to search. So how does a, a try actually work? Let us have a look at that. But uh, let us just quickly first take this particular thing as an example. So, once we have here, so we have here this particular thing. Let us create a try. Before understanding try, uh, I would just like to demonstrate to you how a try looks like. Then it will be much more easier for you to understand. So, let's say there is a start node. This node is always called the start node. Now this particular node can point to different other nodes, right? So we are going to define them as indexes from 0 to 26. So that means this particular node can have at most 27 nodes. So what are those 27 nodes noting? That after this particular point, let's say I encounter a character A or I encounter a character B or I encounter a character T we have here or I encounter a character H or I encounter a character E let's say right so whenever we encounter these characters we have to construct a new node right so let's say we consider this particular word THE how do we insert it into a try so first of all we start from this particular root node we have a character T here right so we make a node here now the next character from here is H so we write H and make a node here right so here till here it is T Till here it is th right now we have e so we insert a character e and make it like this so this is the right similarly for a for a this will be only one character so a will be inserted here now we have t-h-e-r-e -E. now comes the interesting part about try till now we were just storing words but now you will see why try is so powerful you can clearly see that the is present here and the is also present as a prefix of this particular word. Now, whenever you insert try, insert this particular there into the try, t, th and the, this part will be common in both of the nodes, right. From here on, I can insert r, so that will be t-h-e-r and then I can insert e, so this will be there, t-h-e-r-e. Right. Similarly, the next word that we have is answer. Right. So, A N S W E R. So, let us just construct it quickly. So, we have N from here. We have A N. Then we have S. So, 
and this will become ans then we have w so we, this will become a n s w and we have e a n s w e and this will become r so basically answer is here right similarly the next word is any so for again any this a n part is common you see a n is here and then i can insert a y here here it was going for s i can also insert a y and i can make it any right the next word is by so b y so b is here b and i can make y and i can make it by and this by again uh, by with an e so this can also extend with an e so this will be b by e and t h e i r so t h e is here i can insert i here so it will be t h e i and then i can insert r so i am like focusing very much on the construction or on how the trial looks like simply because uh, so that you can see the power of this particular data structure now you can see there are many words for example this particular word any and answer these two had this first part common between them right so an this particular part was common and this led us to save some space as well as some time while inserting and searching for words right now let's say we talk about these two words there and there right so you see the was common even there are three words the the and the ir right so the was common till here then we have the ir here we have the ir here right so how does this work while searching for words for each node you just have to find the next character that you are looking for for example i want to search for the ir so when i start from here i want to search for t first so i go here i am at this particular node the next character that i want to search for is h so i go towards the h node and i am here then the next character i want to search for is e so i go towards the e node and i am here and the next character i want to search for is r right so i go from here to here so you can see from this node i had i also i had r also but i went ahead with the r one now the last character is e so i move on here so you have to follow the exact same process while searching as well as inserting the nodes inserting is very similar to searching and try so let me just write it in brief for you how do you insert nodes right so let's say you start from root node right if the so let me just write it if the next node is present for the desired next character then move on move on to the next node otherwise create a new node and then move on to the next node right now similarly for searching we start from root node now what we do if the next node is present for the desired character desired next character move on to the next node otherwise what we are going to do is we are just going to return zero right so what is the difference between insertion and searching the only difference is when we don't find the next node in insertion we create a new node and insert a node there in searching when we don't find a next node that means the word is itself not present so that is why we just return zero at the end we just have to be careful of one more thing at the end when we have just uh, uh, done all the searching let's say we found the whole word we also have to return current node is leave so let me just give you an example of what i just said so let's say uh, i am searching for a word t h e i right now what i'm going to do i'm going to start from here i'm going to look for t so i come here then i'm going to look for h then i come here then i'm going to look for e then i come here and then i look for i i come here so you see i am still at a valid node but t h e i was never present in my dictionary why is it still coming out to be an answer right so that means it was one of the prefixes but it should not be considered as a whole word so that is 
what will help you in prefix matching what we want to when, whenever we want to do exact word matching we'll have to use one more property of try and that is let me just write it here so whenever a word ends we are just going to mark it as leaf so this answer is leaf right and uh, this a is leaf and then there this this is leaf and then this is leaf any is leaf by is leaf and by is leaf right so we have covered all the leaves so basically whenever you finish your traversal while searching you also have to make sure that the last node that you were in was a leaf node only then it means the word the exact word was present in the dictionary so you see this is very very simple the code is not very complex at all it's a set you have to visualize this particular thing for the first time and then it might become difficult right so you just have you don't have to do anything you just have a start node there from there you have to maintain pointers to different characters from those nodes you have to again maintain pointers to different characters and each of these nodes are representing a prefix of some word right so as i have so, uh, like shown you i have written the words on each of these nodes that this is representing ans this is representing answ right so uh, each of these nodes will be representing some of the prefixes right and if you only want to search for a prefix then you don't have to consider this leaf node but since we wanted to do the whole word matching we have to consider this leaf node as well right so let me show you the final code that i've done so you can see the insert function is very very simple i'm just traversing through the string key that has been given to me and if root of children of i minus a so they've already defined the try structure you can see that uh, a try node is nothing it just contains a, an array which is basically a collection of pointers to other try nodes so as i said that there will be 26 outward going edges from each node and all those edges will be representing other nodes so what they have basically done is they have created an array of children of alphabet size alphabet size is basically 26 i can show you here they have defined alphabet size as 26 right now this particular array will contain pointers to other try nodes similarly to what we do in linked list in a linked list we just maintain the next pointer similarly here we have to maintain 26 next pointers for that we have created a children array right and we also have a boolean is leaf uh, thing with in a, in a try node now whenever we traverse through the key we just check whether root that root is the current node that i am currently on if it's children and the key that I'm looking for. So I want to convert this key into indexes, right? So A is 0, B is 1 and so on. So that is why I do I minus A. Now, if this children is present, that means this particular expression will be true only when this whole expression is not null pointer. So that means if this is not null pointer, I'm just going to move on to that particular node. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new node. What is this get node function? They have themselves defined a get node function here. So this was in the driver code. I've just used this function to initialize a new try node, right? So I just call this uh, try node uh, get node function to create a new node and then set my required children as new node and then update my root as new node. At the end, when the traversal has been finished, I'm just going to mark that this particular last node is leaf is equal to true. That means the word has ended at this particular position. Right. Now the search function is very very simple as well. I am just going to traverse the key and I am going to check whether this particular character is present or not by checking if this children is null pointer or not. If it is not, not null pointer, I am just going to move on to that particular node. Otherwise, I am just going to return 0 from here because unlike inserting, I cannot create a new node and just insert it here. This is searching, so I just want to return 0 because I have not been able to find the word. At the end, if I just have to return if this particular root is a leaf node or not only then this whole word was present in the dictionary so let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is absolutely correct so you see this passes all the test cases and this solution is absolutely correct i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems so that is it for today till the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye, -bye.